Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, my name is Jess, this is Copper Garden. We talk about all things fashion, travel, life, a bit of everything, and sometimes a little bit of Disney too. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. There's also a notification bell, so you get a notification whenever I upload, and hopefully you'll come back. But um, today's video is going to be five ways to style a classic trench coat. Now, the trench I've got to style in this video is actually Czech, which is a big trend of this year. So you will find Czech trench coats absolutely everywhere I've actually got this one from ASOS which is 65 pounds and I actually sized down in this just because it does come up quite oversized as a fit and I personally have sized down and can still fit jumpers under this so that's just like a top tip if you wanted this particular one if not I will leave a link down below to my top picks of the top I think I've done 10 trench coats that are on the high street at the moment in Czech prints because there's so many around some of them are a lot more lightweight some are a lot thicker mine is obviously quite a thin one but I absolutely love it but with that being said the reason we're here today is to try and style that up in five different ways and I've tried to go for kind of different variations of outfits so I've got a more dressy one a super casual one a more kind of airport loungy kind of outfit and I tried to think of every possible way you could style this not just keeping to like a particular trend or anything because I think it's really important when you buy an investment piece which is something I'm kind of passionate about is buying like investment things that will last in your wardrobe for years and I wear as you can probably tell a lot of plain things so it's important that you can wear them in as many ways as possible without further ado we're going to jump straight in and share the first outfit which is actually one featuring a hat and I am steadily becoming a kind of hat slash hair scarf slash put things on my head kind of person and I picked this hat up in Zara literally yesterday and I love it so much this was $25.99 and it's just like a little felt hat really like it I like that I can wear it kind of off you can wear it kind of flat depending on how you want to style it and the brim isn't too wide which I really liked so I basically popped that on for the first outfit then for the actual outfit I went kind of back to basics and thought you know what jumper and jeans is the absolute classic for autumn winter so I paired this gorgeous jumper from next with some classic jeans and my black Gucci belt which I actually love wearing my black Gucci belt just because I like the really antique gold buckle but obviously there's a million and one different black belts that you could use instead of that that's just personal preference and then the jumper is this one which is so gorgeous and honestly the softest thing I have ever felt it's so soft it's like a gorgeous quilted texture like fabric I don't know how to explain it because it's not like it's not embroidered in it's just kind of like the fabric is quilted ish and then it's got little puff sleeves but it's really really cute and it definitely works as being a kind of almost like the statement without being too bold so if you're like me and you prefer kind of plain minimal things this is a great way to kind of add a bit of something to your winter wardrobe and then for the bag we have this one which is from Pauline Paris I actually did an unboxing of this on my Instagram reels and I love it so I did have the bigger version of this in pink I, I mean I did I still do but this is the mini one and it's the perfect size to fit a big iPhone but also I can fit my camera in here and a couple of other bits really simple really great for the basics and if you haven't already seen small bags are one of the biggest trends at the moment so definitely worth getting your hands on one and if you wanted to invest for the long term this is kind of a good way to go because the polyam bags are honestly incredible they're so so nice and they're really long lasting obviously just make sure you use a bit of the spray to keep them kind of perfect then the next outfit i thought i'd go a little bit more trend based so i actually got my leather shorts back out from last year so you can probably see i'm actually wearing some cream ones that i got last year from zara and i've also got these ones which are from topshop leather shorts are something that just never ever goes out like i bought these last winter wore them to death did i buy them in winter i think i bought them in like august but i wore them loads and this year they've come straight back out again and they last me through spring as well so very much an investment and super 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 easy to style I paired these with this little muscle tee that I'm actually already wearing in black so I bought the same one twice and it's just a really gorgeous kind of rusty terracotta kind of colour from Mango and this tucked into the shorts with some chunky jewellery is absolutely gorgeous. It's basically the outfit I'm wearing now as well so you can kind of get a gist of what it looks like but I love the really boxy style of it and I actually teamed that again with the Pauline bag and these boots which are to die for. I am obsessed with these boots so much. I think they do kind of look like moon boots and I feel like they're definitely like man repellers but they are so gorgeous. And then outfit number three, again kind of back to the basics, I've gone for some cream jeans which are my all time favourites from And Other Stories and these are just like a really nice kind of off-white 
creamy color. They are bias cut, so I would recommend if you get Anne of the Stories jeans. If you're getting them online, maybe buy a couple of sizes. If you get them in the store, see if you can try them on because I actually got these in a 26 waist. However, I have got another pair that I've had to get in a 28 waist because there's like zero given them. So worth trying them on, but when you get the ones that are the right size, they fit like an absolute dream. So I live in these. I think Anne of the Stories denim is the best. I've got two pairs of cream jeans from there, and I think I've got skirts shorts etc like it's just really good denim so i thought that for this outfit i would keep it fairly simple and i've kind of started to really love wearing white on white so this little zara tee that i think is only like 7.99 absolute essential i just think this is kind of a great color combination especially when you've got the kind of off-white tone really great way of wearing neutrals together and i think a lot of people shy away from wearing cream on cream or like white on white and i think if you get a slightly different color denim it really works and it looks really great especially when you team it with like other neutral colors or like a harsh black jacket or something um then alongside i just popped in a little hair scarf if you haven't already seen, I will leave a link down below. I did a reel recently, which was wearing hair scarves in three different ways. And it was actually a YouTube video as well, so make sure you check that out. But I basically just popped in one of these little head scarves from H&M around my ponytail. And it's just a really easy way to tie your hair back that still looks kind of cute. And then obviously my little vintage Gucci, which I actually got off eBay. It is real, don't worry. I did actually check this with the seller. She sent me the receipts and stuff, but this was probably the best 120 pounds I've ever spent. And then for the shoes, I thought I would go for some loafers because as we're kind of heading into the autumn season, it's really nice to wear like a tee and jeans and make it look a bit nicer, like with the double cream, but also wear like a kind of smarter shoe. So these are my Gucci loafer mules and I wear these a lot, like I say, investment piece and these or various other styles of mules or loafers work really well for kind of smartening up tee and jeans especially when you're chucking over a trench which automatically kind of smartens up the outfit anyway but it's a really nice way to kind of make a more kind of formal smart casual vibe out of a really basic outfit otherwise okay so what have we touched on so we've gone through the really classic jumper and jeans we've gone for the kind of more trend led outfit we've also gone for the classic tee and jeans which you can't really go wrong with smartening up a little bit then we've got two more left. So one is more formal and one is the really super casual. And these are actually probably my two favorites on this whole rail. So first up, we have this little black dress from H&M, which I've also got in a powdery blue and I love it so much. So this kind of thing is great because it's a way of keeping a summer outfit into the autumn and winter. So you can just wear this with some chunky boots. You could also wear it with like trainers. You could put a jumper over the top. Like there's many, many ways to style these. I'm actually gonna have a video coming soon. Um, but for today, I thought it would be really cute to just have this as a dress and smarten up the trench a little bit. So say for example, you're going on a date night or you've got drinks with friends or maybe you've got like a work thing because everyone's starting to go back to the office. Who knows what the situation is, but if you want to just smarten up the outfit a little bit, this one's kind of that. I've also teamed it with my little suede YSL bag. Obviously, it doesn't need to be this specific bag that you pair it with, but I thought with the black, picking up on the black in the trench. It's really nice to kind of pick up on the tan tones and just give like a little kind of different dimension to the outfit rather than just doing like black dress, black bag, black shoes. Um, so this is where this one came in and obviously you've got the really nice black detailing on this one as well. And then for shoes, I thought I would keep it fairly simple but also really dressy. So I'm not really one for wearing heels. I tend to wear like mules or I wear like a smarter heeled boot never ever like a full-on fully fledged heel and i actually picked up these in Topshop about a week ago and i really love them so these are little mules which have one big strap here with the buckle and then a little like toe loop and they are so comfortable they're not like the highest thing in the world but they're really comfy they're really easy to walk in and if i'm honest they just look great with so many different outfit options so i for example wore these on my trip to turkey with some smart shorts and a black top and a black blazer and it smartened up really nicely but you could also wear it with like jeans and a t-shirt and it would equally smarten it but they're just really really cute and i love them and they're the perfect kind of midpoint between a heel and a mule if you're like me and you kind of don't really venture too much into the heel situ <laughs> And then last but not least, we have what I would consider to be my airport style outfit slash loungewear slash I'm going to the shop and I just need to chuck something on. It's basically like the super cozy, super comfy, travel, easy, 
I want to be comfortable but still look stylish kind of outfit. So what I've done is styled two slightly contrasting colours of neutral. So you've got this really nice like almost like camely colour. Then you've also got the really soft like oatmeal tone. So this is again another trend piece. You could actually really mix and match like a lot of this rail. So this would go really well with like white jeans or with the leather shorts. Various styling options. But I thought Do you know what today we're just going to pop it with these really gorgeous knitted joggers which I actually bought as loungewear but I'm thinking these might end up going outside a lot more than I thought they would. So I basically just grabbed these, grabbed this, popped them together and then throwing the trench over the top just smartens up the entire look. So this together already looks a little bit smart because of the kind of way that this one is, like the buttons down the front and stuff. But if I pop these on with this muscle tee, still equally doesn't look as casual as I thought it would, but it's like a really nice outfit. And then for shoes, I've actually just gone with my classic Nike Air Force Ones. They are the absolute dream trainer, super easy to wear and really, really great. I've actually teamed it with this bag that I got from Topshop recently. So this is like a little ruched backpack and I fell in love with this. I love the little kind of braided handle. I love this ruched front and you obviously can wear it as a rucksack or you could kind of hold it with the handle. And it's the perfect size for popping in like a camera and like various little bits and pieces. Doesn't quite fit a laptop. So if you wanted to kind of work in a coffee shop or something, you'd need to take your laptop separately. But for kind of everyday use, it's a pretty great bag. And it also, I think, comes in black as well. But I liked the cream with the kind of neutral tones. I thought it just looked really nice. But yeah, that's basically my five ways to wear the trench coat. I'm aware that I talked quite fast in this. I apologize, guys. I haven't filmed videos in a really long time. I've spent the entire day filming reels, home alone, and my voice just wants to go with itself. So I apologize for that. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some inspiration for styling a trench coat or a check trench coat. I hope you got some inspiration for kind of like autumn trends that are coming through at the moment. And to be honest, like I said, all of this can be kind of mix and matched. And a lot of these pieces, you probably already own something similar because my style is very kind of plain, very minimal, very not too like trend led. I'm very much like a buy it and I wear it a billion times kind of gal. So a lot of this can be kind of mix and matched and end up with like, I mean, even looking at the rail, I think I could mix and match maybe another like six outfits out of this. And that's just from what's on the rail. So definitely capsule wardrobe appropriate. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, leave a comment, thumbs up, all that jazz, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.